How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Software Inc. And welcome back to Nerdrasoft. I'm starting today with the roof not shown because I read your comments. I saw the feedback. And you know what? I agree. I think the roof that we had on the expansion looked a little bit silly. So I've made some changes. First and foremost, I extended a little platform out here. Well, this was already here, but I've extended a little lounge space out here. And I love this. I think it looks really cool. I think it's a really cool area. It does get used and it's just, it's just different. It's just, it's just different. And then I did this basically just copied and pasted what we had before. I think this looks better than the sloped roof that we had here. I saw a few comments that were like, it kind of looks like you've slapped a house on top of the HQ. And I agree with that. I think it did sort of look that way. But speaking of the HQ, you might be interested to know that the original version of Nerdisoft HQ is now on the Steam Workshop and available for download. That'll be linked in the description below, or you can go to nerd.yt slash nerdrisoft2024, and I think you'll find it there. At least I think that's the URL. If that's not the URL, it'll be on screen somewhere. It'll be in the description as well. So if you want to download this and play with it in your own software, Inc., save and company, go right ahead with all that out of the way. Let's get to it. Well, actually, there's one last little thing I want to mention, and this is sort of a meta thing that really doesn't matter for this video, but it's something that matters to me and that slightly annoys me. It turns out that one of my audio mixers, the things that I listen to my audio through, I have one for each of my PCs. That sounds really... Anyway, I have several. One of them was set wrong. The one that I edit my videos on was set wrong, so everything had way more bass than it was supposed to. And for the last six months, my voice in every video has been really, really overly bassy. So the mix in the next couple of videos might be a little bit different. And I'm going to try and like zone in on something that sounds good. What I'm hearing in my headphones right now sounds good. But we'll see how it turns out in the in the edit. Anyway, today is going to be a pretty big day for Nerdrasoft. It is August 2014. And that means that it is time to finally go in and start developing. I don't know why I went into develop software. What I really wanted to do was go in here, sort by my release date to make sure we have everything we want. We want to go to King Doom 6 and we want to start making a sequel. Now, it's obviously not going to be King Doom 6 2. It is not even going to be King Doom in the same format. It's going to be all caps. King Doom Reborn is is what we're going for with this all caps obviously to sort of emphasize the fact that this is a reboot it's not a direct continuation of the original story although maybe it is maybe somewhere in the kingdom universe there's maybe we do like a a netflix animated series that's like after king doom 6 the hero character found this wormhole in time and anyway it might be an alternate universe who knows <laughs> doesn't really matter to be quite honest but you know I like to uh, <laughs> I like to imagine that that's what's going on. Now, do I have, I have this guy, I have Kingmaker from 1994. I think that's gonna be a little bit out of date to be honest with you. So, I don't know, I, I will call it the Doom Engine. I think that's a great name for it. Just Doom Engine is a really cool, really cool name for a, a game engine. And then this is, it is just an, it's a, it's a, it's an adventure game, right? It's not actually a shooter. My idea of King Doom in my head is sort of as a violent shooter, but this isn't that. That's, that's, what's the other one? Hellshock or something? So, <laughs> it's whatever. Anyway, uh, King Doom Reborn is going to have a customizable character. I don't know if we need dialogue trees. I'm going to be honest, although the last one, I guess, did have them. So we'll do dialogue trees. It's not a branching story, though, so the dialogue trees don't matter. We're going to do mod support. I think we're going to be we're going to be doing mod support. We're going to be releasing this in like 2018. I think it was. Was it 2018? Was that when was the last one? Yeah, May 2003. So we're aiming for May of 2018, 15 years after the release of Kingdom Six is what we're going for here. So this will be this. This will be something. So we'll do mod support. We are going to have an ad some adaptive music, recorded dialogue. I don't, I don't know if I want digital exclusive stuff. It's not going to be an MMO. It's going to have post processing. It's going to have an advanced HUD. We could do reverse Uno and negate the lead designer IP ownership on release. I think we're good. It's not going to have VR support. It is going to have cutscenes. I think we'll do cutscenes this time, and then procedural generation. 
I think is unnecessary. It's already got 245% wasted interest, so this is all sort of unnecessary. It is also going to be $69, because of course it is. Server's going to be production, development's going to be development. It is a new engine, it's the Doom engine. And then for everything in here, we can do Canvas 4, which is fantastic news. We can do Vector 3, which is fantastic news. And we cannot do interestingly wave 10 we can do wave 9 though which is apparently got a better tech level than wave 10 that's concerning hopefully they update that but that's all right in terms of operating systems again sorting by release actually let's sort by active users we should do doors it is our own operating system but then we're gonna do phone computer we don't have a console release in here you know what? Doesn't matter. They can, they can, <laughs> it'll start out on PC. It'll go to console. It's going to be sort of the reverse rock star. So that's fine. Uh, we'll analyze the market. We really want to go for, we really want to go for graphics this time around. So we'll focus in on that a little bit. We can auto balance. It really doesn't matter. I don't think, but we'll apply the market thing and that should be fine. And then development wise, interestingly, the, the core team is not going to be enough for this. I am going to design it. I, I'm absolutely going to design it. I didn't design the last one, but I'm going to design this one. And I guess what we want to do, we want, so we have 21 out of 10 employees, 21 out of 14, 21 out of seven. These guys aren't strictly all going to be, I mean, it's, there's 21 people in this team, right? They're not all necessarily going to be designers, not all going to be programmers. There will be some overlap, I'm sure. So I think the core team could do this. But I'm curious to see what happens if I put the 3D or the those two teams on there as well. It stays at approximately four years, which is really concerning, actually, because this is highlighted red, which tells me that we might be in a situation. That's not the team I wanted at all. Uh, that tells me we might be in a situation here where this might take five years. So Kingdom Reborn might be a really disappointing release because one way or another, it is releasing on the dot. 15 years after the other one so we're gonna start developing this oh, i really shouldn't be the lead designer should i i'm i'm only gonna be it's only gonna be ordinary do we have anyone that can do this amazingly well i don't know that we do we have you 66 so yours could be better you don't have much skill with games though we've got you with some skill in games uh we really yeah we don't have many people that are gonna be good at this i think i'm gonna ooh, actually Stacy Knox, you're already working in something though, which is a problem, but you would be quite good at games and you would probably give us something pretty good, but you are likely working on something in the back end. So we'll give it to me. We'll, we'll just, we'll just give it to me and we'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens. I think I'm getting close to retirement age. So I just, I didn't develop that. Did I, I just, I just closed the window instead of developing the bloody thing. Okay. All right. Okay, so slight change of plan. I've actually gone ahead and changed out the framework to be one that is made by another company. I don't know if that's really giving us any benefits, but I've also changed some things around. So this is now going to take approximately three years, which I think is probably for the best. We still have our cutscenes. We still have everything we could possibly want. It's just going to take a little bit less time, which is good. So we're going to start developing this. That's obviously going to the core team. It's going to need to be a priority, to be quite honest. I think what we're going to have to do is in 20, towards the end of 2016 is when we're going to announce the release date. Release date, by the way, as I mentioned, is going to be May of 2018. So let me go ahead and hit tab to get the music going again. Let's go ahead and speed things up and let's see what we're doing today. Bit of a long winded intro to this one. That was a little... A little, little unplanned, but we got there in the end with uh, with absolutely everything. So Kingdom Reborn, obviously, we want that to be a bit of a priority. Uh, we are updating Nerdersoft Suite, which is coming along nicely. Uh, my core team is working on Doors Pro Edition, which I'm going to be honest, I'm going to make that less of a priority. I'm going to move that up to here. Who's working on this? The FPS team is doing all right with Hellshock. That's fine. Uh, Kingdom Reborn kind of needs to be the priority. Doors, I'm going to bring down to like a two. We might just, I might just end up canceling that project. I'm not going to lie. That, that might being a thing, have to be a thing until we get a team that can work on operating systems pretty much exclusively. Maybe. I have seen a few comments that have mentioned similar ideas, to be quite honest. I've seen a few people suggesting we go and buy 
another plot of land and basically just build another building for my support teams and also for a dedicated operating system team so that my core team can go and do something else but i i don't know that we're there yet i don't know i don't know that we're there yet i think we're getting there i think there's a solid chance that we're getting there but i i just don't think we're there yet and that's okay we will <laughs> we will definitely definitely get there but uh We'll give it a little bit of time and, uh, and see what happens. We also just made like 7 million last month, I think. Yeah, just under 7 million last month. Not bad. That is not bad at all. We're spending 1.1 million on salaries. We're spending a decent bit of money on benefits. We had 880,000 on bills. We did 10.9 million in sales. We did 200,000 marketing. Distribution was 1.8 million. Okay. Well, if we could finish this update for Nerdsoft Suite, that would be kind of fantastic. I'd like to see that get out the door sooner than later. These guys are... Is it my office team working on both of those? Let's bring the priority down on Suite Pro to see if they can maybe figure out this update. It is... What's holding them back? Looks like it might be the 2D art that's holding them back a little bit. Oh, we just finished a printing job for Canvas 5. When is that going out? April. Interesting. That's a very... Oh, wow. We have Canvas 5 and Vector 4 both aiming for April next year. That's... They're hopefully going to have some good marketing unless they... um, Who's stressed? Porting an update to... Yeah, I wonder why they're stressed. They have everything to do right now. You know, I do remember the comments that mentioned adding the porting and updating teams and there was some back and forth on whether or not it would be worth having multiple porting and updating teams. One port team, one update team. I feel like multiple porting teams might not be a bad idea. But the thing is, I don't necessarily want to go ahead and expand the building any further. So what I might do, we, we might get a night shift. That might be the idea. We might get our first night shift in here. And what we can just do with that is, I mean, because here's the thing, right? The simulation typically runs. If we go ahead and speed things up, typically we see most of the day anyway. My employee is going to leave at 4 p.m. and the game sort of continues to run and then it skips a little bit of time until like 11 p.m. or something. So why don't we just get another team that comes in at 4 p.m. and leaves at midnight? So we will have... Ooh, what is going on here? What's this? An employee strike? Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. We will still have... So here we are, 6 p.m. It should be skipping like now-ish. There we go. So it skips from 8 till 11. Basically, nothing would really change. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think that's what we do. So we're going to start with another porting and updating team. So what we'll do is go into manage teams. We'll sort by name. We've got porting and updating. I'm going to rename you guys to uh, have day right there. And then can I copy the team? Is that a thing I can do? Let me pause while I do this so I don't mess anything up. Uh, we can disband it. We can copy it. So team name is porting and updating night we'll hit enter on that if i look at hr management this is all set up already which is fantastic i do realize that we we probably do want some artists so what if i was to do something like this what if we do a spread in here now we get rid of you we do three artists for this one because the updates sometimes do need the art to be updated which is fair enough and i think that'll be all right we'll do low salaries for these guys as well we'll do medium salaries for these ones because they're gonna be working a bit late and if i look at traits so sunny weather improves the mood isn't there yeah night owl if we could find some night owls that would be great because that's going to mean that they're a little bit happier working late and we'll see if that works out so all I need at this point is a team leader. I also need to assign these guys to uh, these rooms. I'm also going to need to bring in someone to run the kitchen at this time of night as well. So let's go ahead and switch these teams. We also want to have you guys in there. So the night shift and the day shift are going to be working those rooms, which is great. Let's hire an employee. We're going to be looking for a leader. We are going to be looking for compatibility doesn't matter. Specialization, HR, automation. Automation, probably not necessary. These guys are not really doing that. So we'll do socialization so they can hold meetings and we'll begin looking. So 
This is compatibility with my core team. We have you. You can do HR and socialization, which is fine. You prefer working in upper floors. The higher, the better. That's fine. You're the top of the building. You get depressed during rainy days. That's fine. And you're a born leader. You know what? You are absolutely going to be hired to my night shift. So let's bring you in. Let me go to my night team. And let me make sure that you are doing everything I want you to do. So it's going to be programming and art as a secondary. That should mean that team is good to go. The only thing is I need to change the start times. So looking at you, I want you to start. I want you to finish at uh, midnight and I want you to start at 4 p.m. So they come in as those guys are leaving. That should be fine. Their vacation. You know what? Vacations across the board. I'm going to change slightly so they can start their vacation in. I'm going to say April and I'm going to say six months. So you can kind of go anywhere from April to September, which is probably fine. It's not the best because May is when we're going to be releasing, you know, Kingdom Reborn, but we'll give them a six month window for uh, for all of that. Now, when it comes to the kitchens, we are going to need to get someone coming in to do that. So if we manage staff, we'll sort by type. We have some cooks here. They come in anywhere from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. Let's hire a couple more. So let me go to you guys. Let me go one, two. And you guys are going to come in at 4 p.m. You're going to leave at 8 p.m. That's probably all right. But to be quite honest, I'm going to get two more. And I'm going to say you can come to 8 p.m. So we have cooks right up until everyone's gone. And I think that's the right way to go about it. So we'll see if this works. We'll see if it plays out the way I would hope it would. The team is is full, which is great. So if we go to... So my office team's working on this. My porting team's working on this. Let's put the night shift on that as well. Let's get the night shift on this one. And we'll see if this works. So it's coming up on 4 p.m. It looks like we have got people coming in, which is great news. So we should see, hopefully, and we do see some people coming in here, which I'm very excited about. These guys are stressed. That's fine. Uh, that is, what, 15 employees on vacation? That's fine. But we do, in fact, have the night shift coming in here and doing their thing. They're still working on the updates, which is great. This is actually good to go. We just want to fix all the bugs. And that's perfect. We also have some people chilling out down here, which I absolutely adore. Is this room set as anything? It isn't. Can I can I unset this as a lounge? Can I just can I just set this to be anything so that they actually maybe use it? So anyone is what we want for that, which shouldn't really be a label. And hopefully we'll see some people come out and actually use that to to eat. So we'll accept all enclosed. That's fine. We've got new furniture. It's 2015. I have 11.6 million due in taxes. I don't know if my accounting team can actually do that, but we do have the RGB computer. Ooh. Now, here's the thing. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. If I go around this office and I say that I want to replace furniture with the RGB computer. Now, I do, <laughs> I do kind of need to see it in the daylight. Uh, we're being robbed. Okay, well... Ooh, it's been a while since we released an adventure game. My fans are starting to notice. That's a problem. Okay. That's that's a little concerning, but we'll be all right. Ah, here's what I'm looking for. So, these computers obviously highlight sort of the color. You can see where I'm going with this, right? Uh, they <laughs> highlight the color of the keyboard. If I was to go in... Is this going to be a bit much? Is this, is this going to be a little bit much? The LED is now purple. I... I don't mind it. I'm going to make them white as well because I think that's pretty cool. And then the keys. Can I make the keys purple? Yeah. Oh, man. We're about to... Uh, I'm about to do... <laughs> I'm about to do... I'm about to do some business here. That looks ridiculous. It might It might actually look better if the, if the computer wasn't purple. I'll be honest. What if the base was sort of a... What if we stick with the base being a little bit darker? I think it looks better when the base is darker. I think that's what we're gonna gonna go for. Uh, the keys being purple is also a choice. <laughs> Let's maybe make the keys uh, darker as well, so you can kind of see it better, right? You can see the purple, and I can see it in the preview as well. Oh, this is gonna be a total pain. I'm gonna have to go around and do this to every. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this to every office now. 
and there we go we have ourselves some rgb computers they've all got the right color on them as well which is kind of fantastic so these ones have orange these ones have that sort of tealish color these ones have orange as well we've of course got some purple that looks pretty good and we've got some dark blue in these guys as well so everything's pretty much good to go which i'm very excited about also i forgot how like good the rain effects i mean th this this is this is meh. but like the little splashes and stuff that sort of the reflectiveness i love this game i i need to play this more this needs to be more than once a year is what we got to do with this it needs to be maybe not all the time but definitely more than once a year an employee is having trouble finding a place to sit okay that might be troublesome what are you oh you're my day shift team why are you not doing anything oh your effectiveness is zero okay so you're the day shift team you're the day shift team so basically i think what's happened is a lot of the night shift guys have got here early so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the night shift team and move them to leave a little later so they come in at five they leave at one that does mean there's gonna be an hour where there's no uh there's no like cooking staff but it should mean that the day shift team is gone by the time these guys get here which is what we're looking for so that there shouldn't be any complaints they're not going to be going around going i've got nowhere to sit oh what's going on they'll they'll chill now i want to look at some deals here because i saw something oh hold on a minute marketing jobs hosting here's what we're looking for give me all of them absolutely all of them now i read something i want to say it was on the software inc subreddit which I love, by the way. It's not a crazy popular subreddit, but I love that subreddit because people occasionally have really, really good ideas. Now, speaking of really good ideas, there were some comments in the last episode that suggested that I go and procure some gold and then funnel that into an offshore account because, of course, although silver, wow. Uh, regardless, funnel it into an offshore account and then use that money to DDoS the competition which I thought was a really cool idea. And specifically, when, when we're talking about DDoSing the competition, what we're talking about is the fact that we have that other company with a Vector product, like Vector Premium, uh, Field Biz Studio. I could, I could, by all means, go ahead and DDoS that company. And that is one way in which I, I could get to those guys, right? That is definitely one way I could do that. But I sort of, I, I like what I'm doing. I like my plan to just gradually take over the company. So if I can just buy them out in time and turn them into a subsidiary, I think that'd be funnier and a little bit more disrespectful than just crippling their company. But speaking of crippling the company and the reason I bring up the subreddit is because I saw something that is genius that I never thought about. We have all these deals, right? let's say i mean opti 3 is an operating system it is releasing september 2016. they want me to market this they're offering me a hundred thousand dollars per month they're giving me sixty four thousand per month now what if what if i took this deal and then just didn't market the operating system you know what if i did that <laughs> you, you see where i'm going with this what if i took the deal and just didn't market the thing right or like bot x is an operating system expires october 2019 what if i took that deal and just didn't do anything i would send them my development or my design i would totally do my marketing they would release the products and it would be terrible and i think that that's genius now here's the thing i'm not gonna do that because it will cripple my reputation and then I think in time, I'll probably start getting less deals and that would, you know, that idea would fall apart. But I thought that was, that's more genius than just going in and being like, you know, I'm, I'm going to DDoS you or I'm going to take over. That's, that's like, that's some 4D chess is what that is. And I love it. Now, let's move Hellshock into, uh, into an actual development phase here. I'm hoping that thing comes out before uh it's not even assigned right now so i need to go to the uh the fps games team so they can hopefully get this thing going really nicely i am considering a second uh fps team though i think that might be a good idea as well because hellshock really is taking its time 
And since we've kind of opened the door on a night shift already, it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to to do the same thing. So where where is my FPS team? They have um they have this little office over here, right? We definitely could. We definitely, definitely could work on uh work on getting this out. Now, Nerdsoft sweet. This is so you know what? I'm just gonna finish that. Because it's taking forever to uh to go anywhere. So we'll just get that update out there and see how it goes. This thing is going to need system 3D audio 2D network. Network seems to be taking its time. I think we get a second FPS team. And I think we start to try and churn out Hellshot games even faster than we are. So let's go in here. We've opened this door. We're just we're just doing it now. So we're going to copy this. It is going to be FPS games. It is going to be night. And that's fine. This one is going to be renamed to FPS games and day, which is totally fine. And then the night shift needs to come in at 5 p.m. They need to leave at 1 a.m. And we can go ahead and assign them to uh, to this room and this room as well. Then obviously hire some people and hope for the best. Now, when it comes to hiring someone for this team, I am going to go with automation this time, which is what the leader of the day shift has for the FPS games, because at some point we are going to want to just turn out, you know, Hellshock 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, and that is probably going to be an automated thing. It's going to be a project. So automation is going to be necessary for both of them, which is all right. We'll begin looking. We'll have a look at you. You're actually pretty good. You can almost do uh, meetings, which is great. You will boost compatibility. You can socialize. You're very, very good. So we're going to bring you in to my FPS team night. You are absolutely hired. And then what we want to do is I'm going to keep this paused for a second. I want to go here and that's 16. That's 20. And then here's 21 with the leader. That's probably fair enough. We don't need hardware. So I think, I think that's fair enough. I am going to try and get the Night Owl trait for as many of these guys as I can, just because, again, we get that sort of bonus. And then if we go to you, we can change your role. You're going to be a team leader, and then you are doing sort of everything secondary. I don't know if you're any good. Yeah, you can't do art, but that's fine. So that should be all right. That should mean that this team starts to fill out sooner than later, hopefully 17 people. Hopefully, it'll go up to 21 in no time at all. I don't know if they're going to be coming in today. Oh, the leader's in today. Oh, they're here. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, that makes my life a lot easier. Uh, let's get the let's get the night shift working. And then Hellshock is going to be sort of a, you know, 16-hour-a-day development process, which means hopefully it's going to be out twice as, twice as fast as it otherwise would have been. That's... That's huge. That is what was fined. Oh, I'm not doing my taxes anymore. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that at all. Let's see. Uh, doors is doors has been a failure, man. I'm not happy about this, but we can at least bring the tech levels up a little bit. I'm going to sort of throw everybody at this. So office team, no, but I'm going to throw my, I'm going to throw my core team at this. I'm going to throw my 3D team at this, my, uh, my 2D team at this, my, do I have an audio team? I've got an audio team. We'll just sort of throw everybody at it and try and get this thing updated as quick as we can. So it's sort of up to modern standards. And we'll just prioritize that as like a, a top thing across the company right now. And then hopefully people are going to be like, oh, you remembered, wait a minute. We just released Canvas. Fu Ooh. Oh yeah, we've got we've got Vector going out as well. We've got Antivirus next year, Longsword 9. How's Canvas 5? It's great, it's inspiring. Okay, let's start printing that because we wanna make sure that there's plenty in stock. We'll do 150,000 copies since that seems reasonable. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely okay with that. We also wanna port it. That's gonna be kind of important. So immediately start porting this thing and we're gonna be looking at active users. Let's do these guys so that that ends up being kind of a big thing. Uh, doors is being updated super quickly, which is exactly what we're looking for. And you know, oh, hello. Vector 4 has gone out as well. It is great and inspiring as well. Marketing's terrible. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's all right. We'll manage, I'm sure. Uh, same two operating systems. We'll do a max of 125,000 copies in this one because I'm not 100% sure that that marketing is going to be 
doing us any favors, but that's all right. Oh, so it turns out even with sparse marketing, we did 3.3 million, 3.4 million basically on Vector last month. We did pretty much 6 million on Canvas 5. So we're doing all right. Even if we're not paying our taxes, I think we're making more money than, uh, <laughs> I think we're making more money than, uh, than, <laughs> than gets taken from us, which is exciting. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Although I, I'll be honest, it would be nice if, um, <laughs> it'd be really nice if I was just paying my taxes. We might need a, a, a night shift accounting team as well. Honestly, we might just want... Maybe, maybe we just do night shift teams everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to double my employee count, but at the same time, it's very tempting. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very tempting to just be like, you know what? Forget it. We're doing... We're, how many employees have I got right now? That's actually the real question. Manage employees. Can I select all? 201. So take maybe 30 off of that. 170. So that would be what? 170 would be 300 and, uh, 390? No, 340? I think that, whatever it would be. It'd be a lot of employees. I'm trying to do the math off the top of my head. 150, 150, 300 plus 20. Yeah, 340 employees. I think I'm right. I'm saying that with a a smidge of confidence. Not a not a whole lot of confidence, but a smidge. Just a, just a smidge of, uh, of confidence there. Now, let me look at these deals. Have we got any more hosting? We do. Kingdom Battle. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You're getting a little, getting a little bit close to, um, getting a little bit close to my brand there is what we're doing apparently quite a lot of that going on don't uh i don't know how i feel about this i mean obviously king doom king dumb i mean that's that's what they, <laughs> there's 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 a joke in there's a dumb joke in there somewhere whatever update doors <laughs> just get that out there oh man doors has just dropped off massively that's rough let's end marketing in canvas 3 as well I don't like that. I don't like the doors has just dropped off. Oh, award season. Best employer better be me. There we go. All right. Best products. I doubt it. Oh, Canvas 5 by quite a margin. Okay. Well, that's actually a really good, uh, really good segue. I did this. I've decided to start putting my best employer awards out here because my office is full. There's, yes, I could clear out this space. Yes, I could clear out these, but... It's already a little bit cluttered, so we'll sort of let everybody know that we are, in fact, the best employer, right? So this goes up here, and then best product goes here. Basically, these top shelves are going to be best employer. This bottom shelf is going to be everything else. And then, of course, we have this down here as well. I am, admittedly, using the edges of the shelf up here just for a bit more room, because I figured we kind of need it. Although, what's this? 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. We've got room for up to 2021 in here, assuming we get best employer every year, which, I mean, come on. We've had best employer every year since 2003. If I can get best employer 20 years running, I'll be very happy. I have, I, well, you know what? I was going to say I have some doubts. I don't doubt anything. I think it'll be fine. Now, unfortunately, my update for doors didn't do anything. So we're going to end marketing on doors. And that pretty much frees up my main marketing team to do whatever I want. We're also clearing up a bunch of the port jobs, which is fantastic news. So we're getting into a good place. My my update team, admittedly, is not going to have much to do. But they're they're doing a very good job. And that's, that's what I need them to be doing. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to sort of let these guys just do their thing for now i'm gonna let them kind of just work on on whatever they want to whatever they're working on and then we'll go through and maybe look at some other stuff there are some bugs for play 2 for example there's bugs for doors there's bugs for vector two. we're still supporting vector 2 didn't we just release vector 4 yeah well you know what fair enough that's it's it is what it is we're not gonna worry too much about it uh, Hellshock is also coming along really nicely. What I might actually do is put my... I might put my porting team on this. Just to give them a bit of experience. I don't know if that'd be a good idea or a bad idea, but I might do it anyway. We'll also get this Vector 4 thing done. Uh, King Doom Reborn is coming along. Doors Pro Edition is coming along. Sweet Pro is coming along. I think reasonably... Let's, let's have a look at something here. 
let me look at the event calendar because we're aiming for may of 2018 for release on this now there is a phone operating system coming in december 2018 i think we need to announce it i think we announce it i think i i want to say no not doors sorry king doom um i think we <laughs> i think we do i think we do um this might be a really bad idea this might be a really really bad idea but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna announce it we're doing it may 2018 we're locking it in marketing um this might be too much marketing i don't know but we're going to um we're gonna see what we can do i'm not gonna send out a press build that might be a really really bad idea but we're gonna we're gonna do our best on uh <laughs> do, not hell shock uh a marketing hell no 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 uh, i keep hitting the wrong things uh <laughs> that's a really bad idea uh marketing you guys can go ahead and start hyping uh king doom so that's what we're gonna do and that'll be that'll be fine oh man i don't know i don't, <laughs> don't know about that but we'll we'll see what happens uh hell shock is is going nicely though that's good so we'll just let things run we'll get this port job done uh hell shock i mean what is it? it was a first person shooter let me have a look here so 2015 what have we got we got a 2d editor we got an rpg we got all of this it's not going to be coming out this year i think we could probably do late 2016 for it though so what do we got we got antivirus we got longsword 9 we got an fps game battle fold deluxe 2 we've got a console operating system there and we've got antivirus now here's what i'm thinking hell shock if we can do what i want to do with this is going to become a relatively regular franchise i would like it to release i i would like it to release like november 2016 right so we give it a year to finish development but my problem with that is that it immediately has to compete with this and i don't know if battlefall deluxe is i i got no idea about that <laughs> i got no idea of battlefall battlefall deluxe i saw it for a second there there it is it did 185 million it was visionary will they give me the ip uh, 92 million oh hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do i do i want to be this this kind of guy um is it worth 92 million <laughs> is it worth 92 million uh am i gonna be that petty that i buy out the ip give them 92 million dollars to not release the other one um i could be that's one option the other option oh they don't want exclusivity oh okay okay um so you guys are the owner are you listed you're 54.6 listed hmm this would be another option <laughs> oh no so 138 million to buy out what is that uh 53.5 percent of the company giving it to big b digital they're the ones with the yeah they've got the highest worth they're almost a billion dollar company interesting <laughs> are they listed 48 percent um <laughs> i don't know about this man I do I want to do I want to be this petty and spend 130 basically 142 million dollars to take over the company I could turn them into a subsidiary they have 15 IPs what are the god products they do games they do FPS they do sports we could just take them over and turn them into a sports development studio I might <laughs> oh this might be such a bad idea this might I don't know about this. They were founded not long after um they were founded not long after I was, a couple of years. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this. 138 million. Do I wanna give these guys 138 million dollars? I really don't, but I'm I'm going to. So now I could spend 259 million dollars to take over this company. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm gonna do it I think I have to I think I have to do it I'm doing it we're taking over the company do I want to take over brain 
I'm gonna brain not studio and its IP or make it a subsidiary. It's gonna be a subsidiary. This is so much money. That's so much money. How much money do I wanna give them? 56 million? Yeah, I'll give them 56 million dollars. Um, so pause, a lot of things happened. We're now way down here in terms of our uh, bank balance. My val my worth has also dropped quite a bit. That's fine. That's that's totally okay. I can change their logo as well. Um, this is, I can give the Microsoft logo. That's great. Um, that's the AMD logo. That's so good. Okay, so my hosting deal for this company was canceled because I bought them out. That's interesting to learn. I've also received 12 frameworks by taking over this company, which is interesting to learn. So we'll close all of that. That doesn't leave us a lot of money right now, but we'll be okay. If we go and look at this company, I did change their logo to the Nerdrasoft logo because I thought that kind of made sense, which is totally fine. We're still up here a little bit. We are the fourth most valuable company which i'm completely fine with i'm slightly tempted to invest some money into into bonds we could do 100 million into this which is going to generate some interest which i'm kind of okay with so we'll deposit 100 million in there that's going to release in october 2020 so five years down the line a lot of money but that's all right so that's nerdersoft's going to be an in, in, in an interesting spot for five years but i have confidence and faith that we'll be okay now when it comes to my subsidiary, the interesting thing, if we let the game run a little bit, is if I go and develop something and I go to next page, next page, blah, 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 I'm pretty sure. Can I now give it to my, can I not give it to the other company? I guess not. Is that not a thing? Is that not a thing I can do? I thought I could always give stuff to my subsidiary. I guess, I guess maybe not. What about Hellshock? If I assign, can I assign you to the subsidiary? No. Well, that's fine. I mean, the, the subsidiary is is autom uh, autonomous right now anyway, so they can kind of do their own thing. Uh, if I now turn that off and go in here, can I now tell the company to go and do stuff? No. All right. I might be missing something. Honestly, not too worried about it. I'm going to sort of just let them be autonomous anyway. And I'm going to give them another 47... Uh, 137, 400. I'm going to give them another 47 million just to count myself out at 100 million here so that the studio doesn't run out of money anytime soon. They actually have more in the bank right now than uh, Nerdrasoft itself, which is fair enough. But Nerdrasoft is obviously worth quite a bit of money. So that's all right. We will now make money when that company sells things. And I'm I'm kind of OK with that. It's it's completely OK. Hellshock, I think realistically, we are just going to get... This all started by me looking at when I'm releasing Hellshock, by the way. Just to be clear, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think realistically, we probably shouldn't have two shooters from the same... I mean, the same company overall releasing in the same month. So let's do September... Uh, do I want to do September 2016? I think I'm going to do se September 2016. I, I am fairly sure we can finish Hellshock by September 2016. So that gives us just under a year to get this thing done. This might be a bad idea. Might be a bad idea, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll give it to marketing. Move that up to here. We're going to do uh, markets uh, with hype as well. Move that up to here. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we can actually get Hellshock done. I, I do notice that my update team isn't doing anything though. So let me get these guys on this as well just to try and get them a bit of experience get this thing going nicely it'll keep them busy which means that i can justify them being employed we'll just we're gonna hope for the best now apparently i'm heading for bankruptcy which is um yeah we spent 445 million dollars in the last month so we'll be fine my subsidiary is apparently running out of money which i find that difficult to believe i'm not gonna lie they are still worth 110 million they are they're doing just fine i think i think the reason it's it's complaining is that my subsidiary is just sort of freaking out a little bit because they've been bought out but they are yeah they're fine they're they're still worth plenty they still have plenty of money nerdersoft is still making plenty of money we're back up to 112 million so i'm really not all that concerned about about what's going on with nerdersoft and our subsidiary I also think it'd be really interesting to just try and buy out all of the companies at some point, but somehow I don't think, I don't think the game would let me do that. 
so we will um we'll be all right now kingdom reborn has got some followers which is great news it is years out from release which is fine hell shock is under a year out which is also fine it is being worked on really nicely but i think let me have a look here releases vector still making money which is great is there anything to port you to not really canvas is there anything to port you to oh i can have these guys do it oh that's lovely okay well i'm not gonna have you do it but that's great that you offered uh wave 10 uh let's have a look at porting you absolutely go to opti 3 let's get that going longsword 8 let's get you over to those operating systems as well for that bit of money doors eh. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if we can have I don't know if we can have doors. Can doors be done by the uh by the subsidiary? No. That's an up so we can't do updates to the subsidiary, but we can have the porting done by the subsidiary. Um Doors has been kind of a failure, man, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so we're not gonna worry about that. Vector three. I could I'm not gonna no, we're just gonna We'll move Vector three over. Did it make money last month? It made a little bit. You know what? cancel that we're not gonna we're not gonna port that that's kind of a waste of time let's just have this sort of be a top priority hell shot can go down to priority like five because the fps team is only working on hell shock anyway so they're always gonna be flat out on it but then the porting team is gonna sort of prioritize uh wave uh 10 and longsword can be down there as well in fact this is just gonna be a one we'll do wave 10 as a priority we'll do longsword as secondary and then Hellshock is tertiary for the, the porting team. I paid zero dollars in taxes plus 179,000 tax report fee. I wonder, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> I wonder where all my money went. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a little something, something, huh? Let's see. So in terms of worth, I'm still fourth. In terms of bank, I'm way down here, but I do have more in the bank than my subsidiary now, which is great. So that's nice. I'm I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy about that. I don't like that these guys are worth more than me now, though. That's that's frustrating. And they're also not selling any. They don't have any more shares listed. So I just own just under a third of that company, which is a little bit, a little bit frustrating. But that's okay. That's that's all right. What are these guys done lately? Releases December. They did. They they do good money, man. Is they, these guys do really good money. I'm kind of glad I bought them. And what's also cool is if Nerdisoft ever gets in trouble, I can just go take money from my subsidiary, run them out of business, and I'll be fine. So, yeah, that's that's all great. Uh, oh, wow, look at this update for doors. I want to go through, by the way, basically my goal right now, I want to go through and update everything and fix as many bugs as I can. Uh, Hellshock is very close to being done, which is great news. I'm actually going to make that sort of a, well, you know what, low priority. FPS team's only working on that. Uh, doors gets yeah, an update. So that means vector two now has no bugs. I updated that doors. No bugs updated that Nerdisoft suite. Eh. I'm not too worried about it. I think we will go ahead and update, uh, play two though. So we'll get that going, make it a top priority. Hopefully that's not going to take too long. It's absolutely not going to take all that long. Having these two teams working on this, having the day shift and the night shift is so good. I should have done this sooner. I absolutely should have done this sooner because it's it's worked out really, really nicely for the company. I mean, Hell Shock, like I said, you know, what is it, 99.7%? It sort of needs to move into beta kind of immediately. I'm not going to lie. It, it really needs to get going because that last 0.3% is, is holding us back and it doesn't seem like it's, you know what, just, uh, just promote it. Just put it in beta. Let's get a press release going because it, it is going out in a couple of months. Let's send out a press build this thing. Move it up to here. Top priority on that, please. Let's also do a little little something something about uh, King Doom Reborn. We have it announced. We might as well make it a bit of a priority as well so that people know that it's, you know, we're still working on it. We're still we're still doing it. And that's that's all good. Uh, Hellshock is fine. Let's see, what's, I guess, what's the priority down here? So doors is kind of down there. That's fine. I could move my FPS team onto the doors, or not doors, King Doom. I might do that, actually, just to make sure that uh, everything sort of works out. So Longsword 9 went out. That's a press build. That's vacations. How did Longsword 9 do? 
It is outstanding, which we don't get often. Long, the original Longsword is the only other outstanding piece of software we've done. So Longsword 9 being outstanding with prominent marketing is very exciting. Let's get this thing maxed out at 125,000 copies. And let's go ahead and start porting this thing as well. So we're going to say active users. I want those four operating systems. And that is going to be a top priority for these guys to, uh, to make sure that that gets done. And it's going remarkably quickly, which is exactly what we're looking for. That's what we want to see. So let's have a look. It needs to make 800,000 to break a profit. We tick over into June 2016. Did it do it? It just about did. 965,000 last month. Not as many sales as I would have liked, but honestly, not the end of the world either. I'm, I'm kind of pleased about that. Now, here's a little something I'm thinking about. We could, by all means, have the development teams come out of the update task for my automated projects so i could say that instead of the audio team updating the audio tools we simply have these guys do it this might not be a good idea this might stress out my port team a little bit much it might slow things down but i'm willing to give it a shot what have i been nominated for best employer better be absolutely was by quite a mar quite a margin as well best products maybe ah that's okay longsword nine second place most profitable product was also not me. Canvas 5, second place. I'll take it. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I think we'll give this a shot. We'll see about moving my, my update teams into the... We'll bring them into the fold, basically, with, um, with all the automated projects. Because that's kind of what they're here for. They're kind of here to, to do this job, right? So that should mean that my actual development teams are doing a little bit less work. They'll be a little bit less stressed out. And it means that if I assign my development teams to something like King Doom or Doors, they're not also going to be trying to update the things that they've they've released elsewhere. So we'll hope that that's the case. We we can hope that that's how that's how that's going to work. Now, Hellshock is releasing in a couple of months, which I'm very excited about. I we've got a lot of bugs being fixed, which is great as well. Marketing could be better. Not going to lie. Marketing is taking their sweet time with uh, just about everything, which is, is what they do. Uh, Kingdom Reborn. Let's see. It is. It's in its fourth iteration. I don't think it needs a fourth iteration. Although we, I think we did. We might have given Kingdom 6 a fourth iteration. I don't know that we have time to do that here, though. So let's start developing this. Let's let's move it in there. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put my I'm going to put my FPS teams on this. We're going to bring the other game dev teams into this and we're going to we're going to see what we can do is uh, is what we're going to do with this. We're going to try and get this thing done as as quickly as we can. Give it a nice long beta phase and hope for the best. It, I'm pretty confident we can hit May 2018 as a release date. I'm just I'm being very careful. I need it to be good. The fans have noticed that there hasn't been, you know, a King Doom game in a while. So yeah they're just out wave 11's gone out was it any good unavoidable it's great it's inspiring i'll take it let's start printing wave 11 as well 125,000 copies as per usual and that should be all right so uh marketing hell shock release marketing king doom release let's see if is it got any fans 199 all right well a little bit concerned that that no one seems to care about it but i mean hopefully it'll be good right that's that's what we're looking for <laughs> that's 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 what we're looking for um hell shock i i think that's a good name i think the hell shock franchise is just gonna be hell shock hell shock 2 and and so on so we'll we'll be all right and would you look at that 3.4 million in profits in wave 11 1 million on longsword 9 uh wait that's the overall profits past month 4.5 million last month as is more what i'm looking for canvas 5 still doing pretty well there as well which is great news a little bit of money in Kingdom 6 last month. That's actually quite exciting. I, it's only $4,000, but that's still pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. Anyway, it is now September 2016, which means that uh, Hellshock is, is going out the door. I'm not going to release it until the morning, so now. Uh, release this. I have no idea. <laughs> quality. It's great quality. That's five stars. Few and far between is four, but no one knows who we are. That's okay. Budget, $55,000. Order copies, 
I don't think I printed anything. So give me 50,000 copies and print copies doesn't matter. We can do, you know, the usual order. So it is outstanding. It is ordinary, but it is outstanding, which is great news. Uh, print 100,000 copies of this guy at all times, just to make sure that we have that. Marketing is sparse. That's fine. Marketing goes up here. We're going to make it a top priority and that'll be all right. Support for Hellshock goes to here, top priority, and update Hellshock, because it is a little bit outdated right now. So everything needs to come up with modern standards. Absolutely everything. Uh, the 2D editor, Canvas 5, the 3D editor. I almost fell for it again. No, it's Vector 4. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Vector 4 <laughs> is what I'm, what I'm looking for. Wait, didn't they have a number after this originally? Have they just done a Vector Studio? Anyway. Vector 4, and then the audio tool is Wave 10. Okay, so that'll be fine. That'll hopefully get done nice and quickly. And then we want to port this to as many things as we can as well. So port you to all of these guys. We'll go for this one as well. We'll also do doors because it's down. I keep forgetting to put things on doors. That's a little bit depressing, but we'll be all right. So make both of those sort of top priorities. The porting actually, let's do the update as a top priority. The porting can maybe be a lower thing. Uh, we're also porting longsword. Move that down to be a lower priority as well. So this is really what we're locked in on here is getting Hellshock updated. I, I'm not, I'm not expecting a miracle with this, but I think we'll be okay. I, I'm, I'm hoping for sort of decent numbers with, uh, with Hellshock. It's got, I mean, it, full marketing, 55,000, zero active users. I'm, I'm hoping for something good. I'm really hoping for something good. Zero active users, 33,000, 1.8 million. You know what? I'll take it. Also, these guys have started selling more shares, which uh, <laughs> here we go. We've got a 31.2% of the company. Don't mind if I do. I am gradually going to take them over one way or other. That is, that is, it's happening. It is absolutely happening. Now, is this uh, prominent marketing? That's great. Past month, four million there. Okay, so we're still we're still doing good in terms of the the, the multi millions and whatnot. Uh, we've got a few bugs coming in with Hellshock. Is quite a few bugs coming in with Hellshock, but again, we'll get the update out there. We'll get the port out there, and hopefully everything's going to be okay. Hopefully we can manage to uh, to make more people happy with that. Kingdom Reborn is already coming up to nearly 50% through its development phase with plenty of time still to go. Oh, Graham Dennis died. Oh, no, he was with the FPS team. He was here for six years. We gave him, we gave the family $200,000. You know what? Fair enough. There's a lot of notes here. The fire inspector is going to be here tomorrow. A company you invested in is selling more shares. Five. Ooh. Interesting. These guys have bought some shares. Now that's, I don't like the idea of giving Bigby Digital another 13.3 million, but I don't like the idea that they're potentially going to try and buy out this, uh, this company either. So I'm going to buy their share of the company. I now have 36.5% of FieldBiz Studio, which I'm completely fine with. Longsword 7 no longer has any users to sell to. It was still selling. It was, good Lord. That's surprising. <laughs> it's actually kind of surprising. Um, can I give my subsidiary the port job? Yeah. You know what? Sure. Port Longsword to, uh, Port Longsword, I guess. That's fair enough. That's an interesting thing to have the subsidiary doing. Seems like the subsidiary also doesn't work overnight. Bunch of slackers over there at Brain Not Studio. Can't even spell not properly. No wonder. That's, uh, oh, wow. wait, 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 what do you mean finish job for Vector 5? Vector 5 isn't due to release. It releases in May. Didn't we just... Oh, man, this episode's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. It's it's already longer than I wanted it to be. You know what? We released Hellshock. It has been relatively successful. It has made a profit. Not as much as I would have liked. It's going to get ported to a bunch of things. That's fine. I'm not sure if I want to port Longsword 7. I don't think it matters. Uh... We're doing good. We're going to leave it there for today is what we're going to do because this has gone on way too long. I'm hoping that in the next episode, Kingdom Reborn, I mean, it's going to go out. It's going to it's going to be a thing. 
so we'll we'll see how that plays out sweet pro is taking its sweet time longsword nine's port is fine updating hell shock i mean that's gonna happen sooner than later but for now thank you so much for watching everybody it has been an absolute pleasure as always and as always i'll see you next time Bye bye